Disclaimer before we start, I recorded at the end of the video. I've done a couple of, well, idiotic things, I suppose, so uh, this is just an idea. So if you have a better idea, definitely let me know in the description down below. Now I did try to pull this thing off, I did try to remove uh, the bottom part, but it did not work. So uh, this idea of uh, repair, now as you can see, the fan is spinning quite nicely. But the idea of the repair was to drill a small hole and a bigger hole than well. You'll see the uh, you see everything in the video. So uh, don't judge harshly. So hello too, my name is Vlad and uh, what I have in front of me is an ITX 570 which failed. Well, the fan failed anyway, and uh, what I will be doing is trying to repair it, and uh, yeah, now actually uh, this card is uh, well within warranty, I don't need to close my window, be bad, done. And uh, even though uh, I could probably send this thing for a warranty, I'm not going to do that, and the reason why is because, well, these days that they tend to uh, give you your money back, because these GPUs are way more expensive now than they were well, a couple of months ago. So what I will be doing is opening this thing and uh, repairing this fan. And this one is actually way harder to repair than other fans. I can't manage to uh, pull this uh, fan out. And uh, it seems that it's, uh, well, it's been, uh, how should I say, sealed. So uh, what I will be doing is first, uh, and yeah, I will be changing the thermal paste as well. Since the card is already here, I have a MX4 thermal paste, which is quite nice. There are only four screws, and uh, this one is actually quite easy to open. Now, uh, regarding uh, uh, the changing thermal paste, it will be a bit more uh, difficult since there are these protection uh, stickers, but I will be showing you how to bypass that as well. So yeah, this screw is probably holding something as well. So this is actually rather easy. So first of all, let's change the thermal paste. Now I found uh, out that the easiest way to open this is with the pliers, but you need to have uh, good pliers. Now, uh, try not to break any SMDs, because if you break that, that would suck big time. But yeah, you can actually <laughs> remove this thing quite easily. As you can see, you need just a bit of force. And well, your fingers might hurt a bit, but uh, yeah. And as you see, <laughs> they are removed. So. There are these two screws, which I need to remove as well. Now, uh, you need to remove these two screws as well, obviously. So yeah, the thermal paste is, well, it lost its functionality already. This card is actually not that old. So what I will be doing next is well, removing this thermal paste and uh, changing it with another. So, uh, I need to get... Uh, paper cloth. First of all, let's uh, clean this. I don't know why they put this uh, well, such shitty thermal paste. I really do not know. So the next thing what I will be using is all this alcohol. I bought this thing off of eBay and it is quite good. And it is well inexpensive, so uh, yeah. So I'll be removing this thing as well. And I'll need some more alcohol. And yeah. 
be gentle with this. You do not want to remove any uh, well, components of the chip. Now you probably won't be able to, but uh, unless you use excessive force, but uh, be gentle with it anyway. So let me get my thermal paste. So I do have this MX2, but I won't be using that one. I will be actually using uh, MX4. This one is well better. And I have this uh, spreader which I'll be using just so that I can spread it well evenly. And now that this thing has been spread evenly, I will be uh, I'll placing this thing back. This thing has been screwed in together and uh, I will be cleaning the dust off of this thing. And now I need to put these two screws back in. Now I won't be screwing them uh, back with the uh, pliers because there is actually no need. If you uh, screw it in with your hand you can actually do the quite good job. Of screwing that thing back. So yeah, um, there we have it. This thing has been cleaned. The new thermal paste has been put in place. Now um, I don't actually uh, need to uh, change the uh, thermal pads. There is no need whatsoever. So yeah, uh, this thing is done. Now I need to repair this fan, and this thing will actually be here uh, way more difficult than this thing. And the reason why is, let me show you. Let me get a scalpel. You can actually order a fan off of uh, AliExpress from the guy called Repairist, or well, the shop called, called Repairist. And I ordered one, and it is a good one. However, uh, it's, uh, it's expensive. So, uh, what I actually had the idea was to remove this thing, but unfortunately you cannot. It looks as uh, if uh, you can remove it, but unfortunately you cannot. Instead, what I will be using is a drill and uh, the smallest bit I have. I always like to do this. And this is the drill I will be going with. This is a 1.5, I believe, millimeters. If you are from the well, United States, you will probably need to calculate the uh, well how thick this thing is. And you need to actually be careful because if you go inside uh, more than you should, you will screw this fan up easily. So what you should do is go slowly, and I mean slowly. And, as you can see, I am in. So this is the uh, yeah. So this is the uh, hole I made. Now, if I had syringe, this thing would be a success, but unfortunately, I do not. So it's not. So the next thing I will be doing is using two millimeters. I believe I need a bit bigger uh, bit. I believe a bit. Ah, well, you know what? You know what I meant. Now, if you do have a solution for this, uh, that it, uh, it, that it doesn't involve this method, please let me know. Now, 
my own this thing just got a bit bigger as well okay so let's make a smaller hole okay now this thing looks like this so what I will be doing is actually making a hole in it with the uh, with this thing and let's see whether this thing will actually work or not now as you can see it's already spinning way more easier but I still need to uh, remove this thing somehow and I actually did remove this thing and let's see whether I can remove the fan now so again it is spinning easier and I made hole after all after these two small holes like this and as you can see it is spinning way more way more easier so uh, I don't know how good of a repair this thing actually is but yeah now I will be cleaning this thing with alcohol obviously and placing this uh, plastic back so let's place this thing back and that did not help I will be actually sticking this thing back with 3M tape and this is the way it looks in the end to be honest it doesn't look greatest but it will do the trick so there you have it this thing is actually spinning quite nicely and I think this will be just fine now we'll be actually testing to see how how long this card actually works in this uh, formation but yeah I think it will be okay so let's put everything back together there you have it this thing is actually spinning quite nicely and it is working if you like this video click thumbs up if you do not click thumbs down if you have any comments please leave them down below subscribe if you like and uh, bye until the next time